safe and educational place for your 11 to 17 year old, look no further than Youth Service Bureau right here in San Marcos. And I am with the program director, Julie Holler, today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Julie, tell me a little bit about YSB and what, what happens here. YSB is an after school and summer program mm -hmm. uh, we've had in San Marcos for many, many years. Uh, and it is a safe place to send your kids after school where they can come grab a snack, get a little help with their homework, uh, hopefully learn something that will benefit them, yes. <laughs> and or go volunteer. That's great. Yeah. Um, so what type of programs do you have in place besides that? Do you also offer anything in addition to after school care? Um, we have the summer program. Excellent. And so in the summer we have many more hours during the day, uh, basically about five or six hours so we can travel a little bit and um, go on some excursions and some learn about adventures. what's going on around us. Yeah. That's great. So they're still learning in a fun environment, so that's <laughs> a plus, and um, it certainly occupies the kids in yes. the summer, so that's a plus too. Um, how long has this program been around? Uh, it started in 1975. Wow. Yeah, okay. some um, neighborhood moms, uh, along with uh, Margie Hernandez and mm -hmm. Ollie Giles, decided that there was a problem in the neighborhood, they wanted to keep the kids safe, and so they started this program. And I think basically downstairs here at Southside, they used to bake them cookies. Oh my goodness. So the kids would always come, come for free cookies yes. and then they could play basketball they come or whatever. For food. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's really wonderful. How it started. And then it's evolved. So over the years, how have you seen, I guess, YSB um, grow and meet the needs of your students? Well, we're a fairly small program, so mm -hmm. we're very flexible. Sure. So if um, something comes up, like a kid gets um, stopped on the side of the road and they're mm -hmm. afraid, we can instantly call somebody from the police department and say, hey, would you come talk to us about safety and what to do if something gotcha. like that happens? That. Or um, we uh, help them with their life skills, mm -hmm. like how to put your volunteer experience mm -hmm. on an application That's great. and so, and how to use that in going to college mm -hmm. or getting a job. That's neat. So, because you really meet the, I guess, the needs of the kids right then and there. Yeah, so that's hopefully, pretty yes. critical. Um, how do you feel like you've helped those students over the years? I mean, essentially, you know that you have, but have they ever come back and said, this was a great time in my life? Or They come. They, they come, come all the time. I love that. I know. Um, I have kids who come back uh, after they've graduated from college or they invite me to their wedding or mm -hmm. they um, now I've been here long enough 15 years that I'm actually seeing some of my kids send their kids that's wonderful so yeah it's yeah. kind of fun that is really neat so how has it changed your life oh my goodness touched, you know touched you you know um, I love these kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I went from working with old people to, well, with, when my children were growing up, volunteered with teenagers, mm -hmm. but you know, they're just fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, and God love them. They just don't know how wonderful <laughs> they are. <laughs> and true. so it's kind of fun to, to see them blossom. Yeah, to love them yeah. and to make sure that they're, yeah. they're uh, confident enough to go out and do the things that yeah. they need to do. That's great. Yeah. So you really give them, um, not just a foundation, but something to really build upon outside of here as well. So yes. some of those life skills that they may not have seen or been um, subject to. So that's really pretty mm -hmm. awesome. So how do parents get their kids to sign up um, or get them enrolled if they think that this might be something that meets their needs? We have a website. It's mm -hmm. www.ysb.org. Okay. And they can go online and pull an application. There's one for the parents, one for the kids, because mm -hmm. we need to keep a bunch of information sure. because we're grant-based. Sure. But um, Or they can come in and fill out an application. And uh, it's, you know, easy. Okay. Not hard. Yeah, so you're not going to turn people away, really. Oh, no. Great. Uh -uh, I don't turn kids away. <laughs> I love that. Um, so, you know, there's probably folks in this community that might be looking how to get involved. Are y'all open to volunteers and need them readily? We we run the whole program yeah, of volunteers. That's great. Yes. Okay. Um, we're lucky we have interns from the university. Mm -hmm. We get parents that'll come in. We have... Um, 
you know, just people off the street that want to come help. Or maybe and, speakers, guest speakers. Oh, we, all, we have to. all of our programs mm -hmm. that we provide are from guest speakers from outside. And a lot of the interest that we have as far as oh, things we've been doing for years, like playing a Russian card game. Mm -hmm. Those are things that our volunteers introduce to us. Oh, wonderful. And so, yeah, it keeps yeah. it interesting and new. Sure, absolutely. And they get to meet folks from different parts of the community, mm -hmm. too. So that just kind of grows their, their base of knowledge. Um, how about donations? I mean, if people want to donate, because it seems like your grant base, this is a nonprofit organization, and funding's always an issue. It is, yeah. Um, they would, I would love to have donations. Mm -hmm. um, our, our base for our local communities is kind of small. Mm -hmm. And so we have, a, we have one big fundraiser we do, but then everything else is based on donations. Okay. So is your one big fundraiser something that you do yearly? We, we have a chili cook-off okay. and it's in Martindale, uh, comes up in the fall this year in November, but, um, it's, uh, it's our one and only big fundraiser. Okay. I don't, really have the staff to do right. a lot of fundraisers so we sense. just do one okay um, so is there things that you as a director that's been here for 15 years know that you would love to provide other services and things that you just may not be able to to do right now at this point but you'd love to grow it in a way um, I'd love to be able to figure out some kind of transportation Okay, so that's, that's key here. Because then I can have more kids. Okay, so how do the kids get here, I guess, after school? Well, their parents, I have a couple of kids that ride a bus, mm -hmm. but there's only uh, available, availability in two schools. So um, parents bring them, okay. and then they pick them up. And pick them up, and that's mm -hmm. probably hard for some oh, to get here. Oh, most of them, yeah. yes right after school be really then, great if the, the neighborhood would come okay and then they could shift out sure who's transporting mm -hmm. the kids so that'd okay. be an easy solution maybe okay so julie what would be the one thing that you could instill in these children you know i really don't want them to be afraid mm -hmm. i don't want them to be afraid of the unknown what's out there mm -hmm. um you know i've taken them i said okay we're gonna walk down the street and we're gonna go ask for <laughs> applications We'll, we'll go in a small group, don't worry. And um, so the kids are going, but miss, I'm only 11. <laughs> yeah. And I said, that's okay. I right. don't want you to be afraid Practice. when you have to go out there and do that. Mm -hmm. And I don't want them to be afraid of, let's say old people, because we volunteer in the nursing homes, because they're, they have this vision of old people that they're old and cranky, not that they're alive and vivacious. And the same thing goes with the old folks, you know? They love having kids, but you know, when they walk in with a black sweatshirt, it's kind of scary and they're not scary. Right. You know, they can sit down and talk to them and not be afraid of kids. Yeah, they can learn from each other. Yeah, sure. so I just want them to be exposed to all different kinds of things and, you know, not be afraid to go try new things, mm -hmm. whether it be fishing or whatever. I love it. Well, Julie, you do good work. At Thanks. the end of the day, you just do good work. Thank so you. thank you. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. I'm Kimberly Adams, a local realtor with McNabb & Co. Real Estate Services. And if you're looking to buy or sell, I'd love to chat and help you discover San Marcos.